Hello, and welcome to the Lubin School of Business. My name is Randy Prelock. I am the Associate Dean for Undergraduate Programs here at Pace University. Today, we have a wonderful program to share with you. It's the marketing department in the Lubin School of Business. We're going to be sharing some information about our various different concentrations, our majors and minors, and meet with some students and alumni from our programs. At this point, you may know what your major is, so great, you can hear more about it. You may not know what your major is, so this is a good time to find out more about our programs. So first, we're gonna hear about the digital marketing program. We're gonna move into the global marketing management program and the sports marketing program. We're gonna hear about integrated marketing and communications. We have three minors that we're gonna to discuss today, special events, fashion marketing, and professional selling and sales management. And we'll also hear about the amazing brand marketing and ad team and their great success this past semester. You're gonna hear from students who are working in our Center for Student Enterprise and our student businesses on our Pleasantville campus. You'll hear from some current students, some alumni, and of course, our marketing faculty. So welcome. Aside from being the Associate Dean here in Lubin, I'm also a marketing faculty member, and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit, little bit about the digital marketing program. It's our newest concentration in the Lubin School of Business, and it is a shared program between Lubin and the Seidenberg School for Computer Science. In this program, you're gonna take certain courses, including design thinking and visual analytics. You may take a course in web authoring and HTML. You might take social media and marketing or strategic digital marketing. And the program offers you a significant number of opportunities to hone your digital marketing skills and learn from professionals. We have a lot of guest speakers that come into our program and just recently in the last few semesters, we've had, for instance, the creatives from the Deutsch Agency coming to talk to us about the Bush campaign that they did in social media and in digital. We had um, Mason Hoffman come from Google to talk to us about public service announcements that Google runs on behalf of the government. And we heard from the people at Media Kitchen who specialize in digital marketing. You have the opportunity to work on real world projects with companies. For instance, DoorDash came to campus and the executives met with our students and they together designed an assignment for the students to do to help build the DoorDash business. We worked with HalloweenCostumes.com, a $100 million costume company, and we developed a social media strategy for that brand. St. Luna is a small company that was founded by the CFO of the baby products company, Aiden and Ane, and he worked with us to develop a social media campaign for his new product line. And we've also had students work for the town of Ossining and develop their digital marketing strategy. The IDM lab is a special component within the marketing department. IDM stands for interactive and direct marketing. And the IDM lab runs an in-house consulting company that works for various different clients. When it comes to digital marketing, there are a lot of career opportunities. First of all, here in Lubin, we have a very large career services team dedicated to your success. We have 78,000 alumni who live and work in the area and they provide jobs for our students. You can see um, from the graphic here, all the different logos of companies that actually hired our students in 2019 for internships. And some of those students worked in digital marketing. You have a strong career trajectory for digital marketing because there's a growth rate of 8% through 2028, lots of opportunities, and a median um, income of 132,000. So hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of some of these potential career options, like director of social media and brand communications, or mobile marketing strategist, or multimedia communication specialist, and some that are not listed here, like maybe you'll work in search engine optimization or paid media. So there are numerous, numerous um, opportunities that you'll get when you come to study digital marketing here at Pace University. 
I'm now going to turn over the program to Dr. Pradeep Gopalakrishna. He's the chair of the marketing department, and he's going to talk to you about two of our concentrations, global marketing management and sports marketing. Pradeep? Thank you, Dean Freelock, and welcome. Let me add my uh, welcome to all of you joining us this afternoon. My name is Dr. Pradeep Gopalakrishna, and I go by Dr. G. Um, I'm very happy here to join all of you to talk about global marketing, one of our oldest concentrations in marketing. The uh, concentration itself actually gives you a very solid foundation in managerial marketing with an in-depth understanding of global commerce. To this end, you will be taking a variety of courses, some of them in interactive and direct marketing. You just heard that from Dean Preluck. We have a student-run business. Uh, the IDM uh, students uh, do a lot of client-based projects. In addition, you're also going to be taking classes in professional selling and sales management. You will hear from one of our recent alums about the, IB, about the sales team, the Lubin sales team that we have. And obviously, global marketing is all about international marketing. You also will be taking a variety of courses in new product planning, marketing research, and each of these areas or, or sectors, as we call them in marketing, allows you to actually seek a career in these fields. So we have students working at Nielsen who will be joining us later today. So you'll hear from a variety of alums about all the opportunities in all these sectors. And finally, we also have courses in services marketing and CRM. One of the highlights of the international marketing concentration, the global marketing concentration, is a international field study. What's great about this is the students actually get to, get to go to various countries. And uh, we, uh, you, you see some images here of uh, places like London, uh, Scandinavian countries like Copenhagen and Stockholm, and on the lower left, you see an image for Singapore. This was a recent trip I took with my students to uh, visit Landor, the brand consulting firm in Singapore. It was just a phenomenal experience. And then on the bottom right, you see an image for India. And we visit a variety of cities within India to name a few, New Delhi, the capital, Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India, and Mumbai, the financial capital of India. I just want to mention uh, one of our very popular concentrations, advertising and integrated marketing communications. And again, the reason for this concentration is the fact that you know, this allows students to, to immerse themselves in courses in advertising, fundamentals of advertising, and media planning and buying. And in their senior year, the students take part in a very prestigious competition. That is one of the two options uh, you see there, it's called the Ad Team Experience. Students get six credits under their belt and they actually work with their real life client and prepare an integrated marketing communications campaign plan for the client. And you will hear some exciting things that have been going on at Pace about this. The other option students have is to take the Advertising and Communication Strategy course uh, which is also a client-based project course that is taught by uh, several practitioners in our program. And uh, th the nice thing about it is that it allows you to sort of uh, not be a part of, uh, uh, you know, the competition, so to speak, but work on the campaign yourself in class with a group of students and also take a marketing elective in addition to it. So we offer a variety, a plethora of options is all I'm getting at here. Some of our student clubs on campus, I mean, uh, we do have some wonderful clubs. Uh, you see the first one is the American Marketing Association of New York. It was recently renamed as that, it used to be called Puma, stood for Pace University Marketing Association, one of the oldest marketing clubs on campus. Uh, one of the highlights of this program is the students work all year long on projects and uh, inviting guest speakers to campus. And in sometime, typically in March or April, they get to go to New Orleans and attend the AMA, the American Marketing Association 
collegiate conference that ha that's held in New Orleans. This conference attracts nearly 1,500 students uh, annually, and it is really a very, very uh, <coughs> prestigious conference. We also have the Ad Club uh, on the New York campus, and basically the Ad Club also works with client-based projects. You just heard me say the IDM Lab, and they basically work for, with various clients. One of our recent clients was City Hall, a next door neighbor to Pace University in downtown Manhattan. And then we have the Lubin sales team. So which brings me now to our recent student alum, Priyanka Aluri. Priyanka, welcome. Hi, hi, thank you for having me. How are you? I'm great, how are you? Okay, all right, let, 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 let's go through this. I need, I, I'm really impressed. Tell us a little bit about uh, the fact that I know you graduated recently yeah. and you have had a lot of internships under your belt. Tell, tell us a little bit about those internships. Yeah, so um, just for everyone, my name is Priyanka. I graduated just a few weeks ago in May with a degree in global marketing management. Um, and one of the highlights of my experience at Pace was that I was able to intern at so many amazing companies. Um, my internship journey started right in my freshman year of college, actually. It was the first semester. There was a career fair happening uh, at school, and I was very ambitious, and I thought I'd visit some companies, hand out some resumes, see what would happen. Um, and it turns out I got an interview at a company called Sugar Foods Corporation, uh, where I ended up being a sales and marketing intern. Uh, it was really focused on field sales. I was able to learn more about the industry and learn more about what I like and what I don't. So from there, I moved to a company called Travel Click. It's a tech company that focuses in the hospitality industry. I was their global marketing intern for a summer, and I was really able to get a good grasp on a lot of different email marketing strategies, newsletter creation, um, stuff like that, um, that again, gave me more experience, which is what I wanted. Um, and moving on from there, I transitioned into media at Cats Media Group, which is part of iHeartMedia. I was on their sales strategy team, um, working with different radio stations as a part of the media representation company, you know, creating different sales pitches, um, strategy plans, and it was very, very interesting and piqued my interest in media, which is which led me to uh, Discovery Inc., which is more known as the Discovery Channel. I was on their digital analytics team there, which it was pretty different than what I was doing, right? Um, I was focused a little bit more on the tech side, working with um, the different digital products that Discovery has. I was there for my junior year and, uh, into my junior summer. And then I rounded out, finished out my senior year at CNN, also on their digital analytics team, working with their digital streaming platforms and really um, gaining so much experience that was coupled with what I learned uh, in my classes, which was just so wonderful. Wow, impressive. Thank you. Now tell us a little bit about the fact that you're a member of the Lubin sales team and all the accomplishments you have, uh, you've had there. Yeah, um, so uh, the Lubin sales team is relatively new. Uh, I joined it in my senior year, uh, the first semester of my senior year, with the encouragement of one of my professors. Uh, and what we did on the sales team was uh, we basically prepped for competitions around the nation. What these competitions would consist of was um, cases where we were salespeople and we were selling different products or services based off real companies um, to pseudo buyers. And again, we traveled around the nation for this. Uh, personally, I was able to go to Tampa, Florida and uh, Providence, Rhode Island and compete on behalf of Pace. Uh, the team won. The team had so many successes. I think this year in total, we had about 10 wins altogether. And with our first year of competing, that was really something um, that we were all so proud of. Absolutely. Very proud of you. And finally, to round it off, basically, I see you're a part of a dance team and you also went abroad to study. Yeah. So uh, in my freshman year, again, um, you know, again, I was very ambitious, very active. And I heard that there was a team at Pace called Pace Shakti, which was a Bollywood competitive fusion dance team. Um, it had been uh, it had been kind of dead for a few years. And I rounded together a few people that I met and we decided to revive it. So uh, for four years, I was leading the team uh, as the captain and it was a really wonderful experience. Uh, 
I was able to learn uh, many leadership skills. I was able to travel around the tri-state area competing. Um, you know, we, we weren't that great when we first started, but uh, slowly we, we built up to getting to where we are now. We just finished out this semester with a first place win and a third place win uh, against various teams, again, from the tri-state area. And it's a wonderful experience to be able to go to a school that's so uh, willing to let me keep my heritage alive, you know, while also being away from home. Thank you, Priyanka, for sharing your experiences uh, this afternoon with us. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. And now to our last uh, concentration in marketing, uh, sports marketing. I mean, when you hear of New York, you hear New York is the financial capital uh, and also, you know, the advertising capital. But guess what? I mean, uh, what better place to study sports marketing, uh, you know, rather than New York City? So one of the things you learn as part of this program is not only do you take courses in sports marketing, you know, sports sponsorship uh, and special events marketing, and you hear a little bit to that a little later on, and you acquire a lot of skills and tools, right, to succeed in this industry. So one of the benefits is obviously plenty of opportunities to intern with top organizations in the New York City area. In fact, we have a long relationship long established relationship, I should say, with the New York Mets. And I've had the privilege of taking students to the Mets, uh, you know, at City Field for several years now. We have had several students actually intern there, uh, some land jobs, uh, and they are, have risen up the ranks at the Mets. I'm very proud to say that. And recently we just started, uh, this is past fall, we started a new relationship with the Brooklyn Nets at Barclays Center. And uh, obviously they are looking forward to having us again this fall. Hopefully things should open up by then. And obviously internships at major venues such as MSG, NBA, the New York Knicks, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, I'm very happy to introduce you to one of our students who is studying sports marketing at Pace in, in the Lubin School and is a major of sports marketing. Jillian, welcome. Hi, everybody. Thank you for having me. Welcome, Jillian. So Jillian, can you tell us a little bit about the internships you have had while you have been a, a student? You seem to have been quite busy at Pace. Yes. Yeah, so my first internship was actually in business development and marketing. Um, I interned at the Institute of Management Accountants. Um, and from there, I transitioned over more into sports marketing, more into the field I want to go to. So I started interning at Rutgers University in the athletic department as a sports marketing and fan experience intern. Um, and most recently, I interned for the Madison Square Garden Company within MSG Networks. Um, so some of my daily tasks at MSG were aiding in the production of monthly tune-in spots to be put up as commercials for MSG Networks, composing in-season promo copy to be read during all Knicks, Rangers, Devils, Islanders games, and I even got to assist on an array of video shoots, including content for Madison Square Garden and their branded partnerships that MSG has. Um, so Pace really offered me such a great bridge to between the studies in the classroom to the real world work experience that I've received through these various positions. Thank you, Jill. That, that, that's exciting to hear. I also see you went to the prestigious uh, sports conference uh, called the Steinberg Conference and then the Sports Marketing Association Conference. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, so this past fall, um, I just finished my junior year. So during my fall semester of my junior year, I was able to attend both of these conferences through PACE. Um, so the first being the Lee Steinberg Sports Career Conference, um, which PACE, PACE actually hosted um, at the school. So I got the chance to meet an array of professionals from companies such as the NFL, ESPN, the New York Daily News, Madison Square Garden, the New York Mets, and more. Um, and the second uh, conference that I attended was the Sports Marketing Association Conference in Chicago. Um, I got the chance there to build relationships with numerous professionals across the industry, professors from various universities all over the country, and other aspiring students who also want to pursue a career in the business side of the sports industry. 
So both of these, it was really a memorable experience to attend both and represent PACE and the sports marketing program. Fantastic, that's fantastic. Just have a final question for you, Jillian. So, so what do, what, do you have some tips for folks who are new admits to Lubin about uh, school life balance? How do, you, how do you handle all of this, keeping um, yourself busy? I definitely always kind of took every opportunity and chance that comes your way in college. Um, even if it's crazy trying to balance school and your social life, um, just remember why you're in school and to take every opportunity that comes your way, a new challenge, even if it is hard at the time. Um, it's so crucial to your growth and aspect of your life during this time. So that was that would be the best advice I could give. Fantastic, that's wonderful advice, great tips. Thank you, Jillian. Again, you just heard from J Jillian Lewandowski, actually a 2021 grad yes. from the Lubin School. Thank you, Thank Jillian. Thank you so much. And now it is my honor and privilege to introduce you to one of my colleagues, Dr. Leanne Donovan, who's gonna talk about the minors in marketing. Welcome, Leanne. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here and to join all of you today. Um, as you said, I'm Dr. Leanne Donovan. I'm an assistant professor of marketing at Pace University. And today I'm going to talk about a couple of our minors. I'm going to be talking about our special events marketing minor and our fashion marketing minor. So here are the core courses for our special events marketing minor. We have the principles of marketing, fundamentals of advertising and promotion, and public relations and special events marketing for arts, entertainment, and sports. I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on these two as these are currently two of the classes that I teach here at Pace. And public relations is one of my absolute favorite classes to teach because no matter what you are interested in, it is applicable. Whether you are interested in sports, entertainment, government, theater, education, fashion, medicine, politics, public relations applies. So I always get a really diverse group of students from across the university. And public relations is all about communication, building relationships and being able to tell a story. So throughout the semester, we talk about, PR, throughout this PR semester, we talk about owned media, earned media, and paid media. And throughout the semester, we have the students go through a brand me booklet and create their own websites. This is their way that they can use their own owned media to really tell their story and to put their story out there. Our students are so interesting, have such great experiences and backgrounds that they all have a wonderful, unique story to tell, and this gives them a chance to do that. So here, for example, we have Chanel's website and she gets to talk about herself and then showcase her educational experience. Um, so from Pace University and also her study abroad. And then she can go on and talk about all of her wonderful internship experiences from being a social media intern, a product media intern, business development intern, um, finance and marketing intern, and a fashion intern at, at Tusk. She can really showcase her professional story. And we also use these brand me booklets to help students develop their personal story and connect with uh, potential employers on a personal level. So here we have Kevin's website. He has plenty of experience too and under his experience and about tabs, but he also wanted to go into his personality that he learned through his brand me booklet, writing his vision statement, his positioning statement, and his 15 second elevator speech, which is so important when networking or going to hiring events or internship events. All of these things get to help the students to really craft and present their story to the outside world. And going through it and even continue with his beliefs and values, passions, superpower, and purpose, and what he envisions his success to be. And I had some really great student feedback from this project. Um, so one student said that she realized that she had a great personal brand and that this project was extremely useful, not only teaching students about how important one's brand is, but it was also useful to help instill confidence. And then another person, another one of my students, Samantha, said that this website is building her business profile and it actually helped her land an internship experience with TPMG and Uncover. So it was really fun for the students to get to learn how to apply PR to themselves. And also in each of these courses, we go through and get an external certification. Um, I've developed a relationship with HubSpot 
and they let my students participate and earn these external certifications at absolutely no additional cost to them. So for public relations, we focused on inbound marketing, and this clip was taken from Ivana's website, where she has been able to add the certification to her story. And then in special events marketing, we focus on content marketing certification. And both of these are part of the top 11 certifications in marketing that can help you land a job in 2020. And so here's an example of how we looked at content marketing within special events, applying their HubSpot knowledge to the things that we we're talking about in the course. We went through and analyzed one of the biggest events of the year, Coachella. And even Coachella had all of this content and they weren't necessarily using it. Now you can see that they've come up with a new video, 20 years in the desert, um, really using their content to tell their story, to connect with their audience, to build relationships with the people that attend their concerts and to really help them create their brand in the mind of the consumer. And then we end our special events marketing course by completing a simulation. Um, in the simulation, you go through different modules in which you learn about the introduction to marketing, marketing segmentation, ethics, research, promotion, advertising. And then the final big segmentation, you actually get to act as the vice president of marketing for the sports and entertainment division. And you get to run your own stadium. Um, which is a lot of fun and the students gave me a lot of great feedback saying that they really enjoyed getting to participate and do something instead of just having lectures and case studies which we do in class but really being able to go above and beyond and run their own stadium and make all of the important decisions so you run the football team you make all of the decisions about concession stands you do ticketing pricing selling you do the marketing and you decide which bands you want to bring in based upon your segmentation analysis and your marketing research and then you devise ways for both the football team and the brands that you bring in um, to create the right advertising and promotion strategy to make your stadium successful. And then I'll talk a little bit about our fashion marketing minor. So here are your required core courses, principles of marketing, fashion marketing, and retail management. And then you get to pick an additional multiple classes for the final six credits. So why fashion marketing if you're not just automatically interested in fashion? Well, fashion marketing is a growing industry. It has a growth rate of 9.3% with a market volume of 830 billion. It is a creative, enterprising, and multifaceted industry. It also connects to us on a cultural level. So fashion is a reflection of culture, society, groups, and even individuals' self-identity expression. Um, fashion industry operates in a fast changing environment. There is always something new in fashion. The vital roles of marketing in fashion um, is that it's important to learn and apply strategies and activities in order to market fashion merchandise effectively and to satisfy your target consumer's needs. Within these courses, you will learn about branding, promotion, fashion retailing, luxury marketing, digital fashion marketing, current trends, as well as basic fashion terminology and a history of fashion. Also, our fashion courses are really interesting because they bring some of the best top guest speakers and they even go on field trips. So they recently went on a field trip to Tusk and at Tusk, they talked about their supply chain system, product design and development, and even their internship opportunities within that. And fashion marketing in New York fit together perfectly. New York is one of the world's top fashion capital, the headquarters of many fashion companies such as Tiffany, Ralph Lauren, Kate Spade, among others. Um, New York Fashion Week is also held in February and September of each year, and they offer so many amazing internships and job opportunities. Our students have had internships with Tory Burch, Saks, Chanel, Fendi, among others. So it's a really interesting and fascinating minor to get while at Pace University. And now I'm going to pass it on to our marketing and advertising guru, Paul Kernett. Thanks so much, Leanne. That is great stuff. I mean, I love those minors. Um, so I'm uh, Paul Kernett. I'm clinical professor of marketing. And one of the things that I love most about teaching at uh, Pace is that we have a very rich combination of uh, professors who are academicians as well as practitioners. I come out of the practitioner side. Uh, this is a second career for me. I was um, an advertising agency president and chief operating officer at uh, Griffin Bacall, which was a top US agency. And we sold the agency to DDB, which gave me the opportunity to expand my relationship with Pace and it has been absolutely wonderful. So uh, I teach in the uh, advertising and integrated uh, marketing department uh, major. 
And um, I'm involved in a number of different activities within Lubin. One of them is I'm the director of the Lubin Pace Path. If you come to Pace, and um, we hope you all will, uh, you will be very active in the Pace Path, which is our program that really is professional facing. So much of what we do prepares you for the professions, including our Business 255 class that we offer um, as a requirement on both our campuses. And this is our course in professional planning and practice for internships and careers. And a lot of what um, Professor Don Donovan just talked about is what you will learn, 15 second, 30 second uh, elevator pitch, writing good resume, uh, informational interviews, working a career fair, uh, tremendous, tremendous preparation for you to build your personal brand and your, uh, and your confidence. Um, Dr. G mentioned the Ed Club and the AMA. On the Pleasantville campus, we also have another club, which is the Lubin Business Association. And it's a combination of our marketing department, our finance department, uh, and our management department. And we have weekly meetings, and every week we bring in speakers and panels on all kinds of topics, uh, in the professions in business, from healthcare management to real estate, advertising, um, uh, human relations, all kinds of different topics. The other thing that you um, will experience the opportunity uh, to, to take advantage of is that Pace University is the number one private university in the country for upward mobility. And what that means is that not only do we have a rich career services department that will get you internships, but it also means that you will land a career in the profession of your choice faster than just about any other university in the country. And also within a period of time, you will be making more money than people in other universities. So let's move on. I'd like to talk to you about the ed team and the brand team. And this is, a two semester course that is dedicated to the National Student Advertising Competition uh, sponsored by the American Advertising Federation. Uh, we offer it on both our campuses in the Pleasantville campus as, uh, as the ad team and in the New York City campus as the brand, brand team. We are, both our teams are very, very competitive in our district. We're in district two, which is the most competitive district in the country. I'll talk more about that in a minute. We get real world clients and I'll show you some of them right now and here they are. Uh, we compete with over 100 colleges and universities every year. And this competition has been referred to as advertising boot camp for the real world. What we do is we create a professional marketing plan called a plans book, which is 20 pages long, and a 20 minute presentation. So on the face of it, the course is very simple, but it is the most professional experience you will have in the university and the most professional product that you will create. Every year we get a different client. As you can see, it is a wide range. Um, we've worked on Ocean Spray and Snapple and Glidden and Nissan, Pizza Hut, State Farm, JCPenney, et cetera. Last year we worked on uh, Wienerschnitzel, which is a West Coast hot dog chain. And this semester we just completed the competition for Adobe. And what I would like to do is introduce you to a couple of students who have been through the whole experience. And first of all, meet Tiffany Brewer. Hi, Tiff. Hi, VK. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Of course. Tell us your story. Yeah. So my name is Tiffany. Um, I recently graduated from Pace University in 2019, so actually a little over a year now. And I came into PACE um, as a business undecided major, so had no clue what I wanted to do. And one thing that I think PACE does a very good job of is giving you a breadth of coursework that kind of exposes you to all business units that you could be involved in. And I just really got into marketing kind of from the upfront. So from there, I became a global marketing management major with a minor in corporate finance, since I did have a, um, interest in numbers, um, working in research, that kind of thing. So I got the finance background to kind of just kind of give myself a little bit of an edge. So from there, my sophomore year, I had the opportunity to intern with IPG Media Brands. I got that internship through Pace's Career Services. And from there, I did media planning for Keurig Dr. Pepper. So I helped coordinate the media plan for the Fansville campaign, actually, which I'm sure some of you may be familiar with in college. 
uh, football. So I did that for the summer of my sophomore year. And then junior year, I also did a similar internship with an accounting firm. Um, I was a marketing intern there, similar with um, working with customer relationship management databases, um, email messaging, different branding techniques. So that was my junior year experience. And then senior year, I had the pleasure of working with VK on ad team. And what I did for ad team was I was the marketing director on the Wiener Schnitzel case, which was the hot dog chain that PK referenced in the West Coast. And my role there was I pretty much um, oversaw a lot of the research we did, the consumer insights we came from, the consumer journey per se, who we were going to target for this project. And I would say it was probably the most well-rounded um, courses that I took that was able to help prepare me for my career, which actually ended up ironically being in consumer insights and market research. So Ad Team helped me to really discover what my passion was and what I wanted to get into for my career. And we took that all the way to, believe, to fourth place. <laughs> I don't remember our exact place, <laughs> but we did, um, we did a good job nationally and it was an overall like, great experience. And I finished that experience with Ad Team and also did the Lubin Analytics Bootcamp, which is a um, really great rigorous program that Lubin hosts that of four times, four classes out of four weeks that pretty much kind of throws you into everything analytics, um, databases such as R, Python, um, visual analytics, anything that you can get into. And I really recommend this class to anyone who's looking to get familiar with databases, analytics, or insights, just because it is so important, especially in the career, <laughs> in the real world, to be familiar with databases and getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I think that course did a really good job of setting me up for that with the analytics bootcamp. And then from there, after those two experiences my senior year, I sat down with one of Susan Armstrong, who's a lady for career services, and she helped to network, helped me to network to get a job with Nielsen, which is where my current role is. I'm an analyst on the client delivery team for Nielsen Global Connect, and I spend most of my time supporting Reckitt Ben Kieser, which if for those who aren't familiar with the manufacturer, they run brands like Lysol, Finish, um, and Airwick. And my role for that team is I pretty much help their brand teams and their category experts help understand exactly their consumers, the people that they're reaching into, kind of help manage their brand. I'm involved in running a bunch of analyses for their brand plan, things that they're looking to implement in 2020 which I'm sure you can imagine for Lysol during the pandemic, I've been very busy in the recent years, <laughs> in the recent couple of weeks, but it's been a great experience. And I'm truly grateful for my Pace Path experience because I, I truly think that Pace takes the extra step beyond just the degree. Like I was able to walk with a degree, a resume and a network. And I think that is truly something valuable and something that not a lot of universities I think are able to offer. So it's really helped to set me off in my career. Thanks so much, Tiffany. One of the things that's fun about the Ed Team uh, course is that um, in the second semester, we become an advertising agency. And so we have a marketing department, a creative department, a media department, an integrated marketing communications department, and a production department. And Tiffany's work in developing insights for our Wiener Schnitzel campaign was absolutely invaluable. And now I'd like you to meet Cameron Podkorski, who just, just graduated and um, played a major role in this year's ad team. And Cam, why don't you tell us your story, please? Sure, so hi everyone. I'm Cameron Podgorski. Like PK just said, I literally graduated three weeks ago. So I just finished up, but it's really exciting. So I did a lot while I was at Pace and I just kind of jumped in head first, did everything and ended up working out really, really well for me. So just a couple of different things that I did. I was a student athlete all four years that I was at Pace. I was on the cross country team and I was captain of that team for two years. So that was awesome because that gave me a leadership position and I got to learn how to work with people and things like that. And then that was able to carry on to some of my other courses, which I'll get into in a minute. But I had a couple of various different internships while I was at Pace. And like I said before, I kind of hit the ground running. So I started interning immediately after my freshman year, which I think was a huge leg up. Um, the fact that Pace puts you in a position to start interning so early, whereas I have friends who went to other universities and that wasn't the case. They started a lot later. So I interned at Army Football, which is pretty cool, but a little bit of non-traditional marketing experience. I interned there for two summers after my freshman year and my sophomore year. 
So there I had a hands-on kind of creative role. Um, I worked in their football um, recruiting department, so helping them uh, recruit their high school athletes that are getting offers from these division one colleges all over the country, basically helping Army stand out, um, you know, not only sell a division one football program, but also it's a military academy. So it had that added twist to it. So I really learned how to cater my advertising to different people to uh, spread different messages. And then after that, so my summer of my junior year, I actually had an internship at Prestige Consumer Healthcare, which is over in Tarrytown. So not too far from Pace Pleasantville. Um, they own a bunch of over-the-counter healthcare brands, Summer's Eve, Ludens, Chloroseptic, Dramamine, the list goes on and on. Um, I actually got that internship through the MAID program, through the Association of National Advertisers, their educational foundation. And I got into that opportunity by talking to PK, I built a reputation with him, told him what I was interested, what I wanted to do, and he helped me apply. So that's the other great thing about PACE, that you're able to build these really close relationships with these professors, and they're more than willing to help you out. I got the Army internship through my graphic design professor. He recommended me for that, and I got into the ANA program by PK recommending me for that. So there, I wasn't as much of a creative role. It was more strategy, learning how to cater advertising for a bunch of different brands with different, you know, target audiences and things like that. And then having all of that professional experience, you know, for three years back to back as a student was fantastic because I got real world experience that I was able to come and take in when I did the ad team course my senior year. So both semesters of that. And for ad team, PK knows, he'll say this, I had my hands all over it. So as you can see, I was director of the plans book and production as assistant director of creative. So I really took leadership positions in the uh, creative kind of departments because I had that um, background with all the Photoshop and the design, but I was also involved in all the other departments. I was a member of the marketing department. I met with media and IMC every single week. So I kind of, with the ad team class, you get out of it, whatever you put into it. So I put everything heart and soul everything into all the departments because I wanted to diversify my skill set and say to future employers, hey, I've started working on a campaign from ideation and research and all of that to creating the campaign, the execution, finding all the different media placements, all the measurement, and then being able to present that to a real world client. And so that proved to be really, really valuable and helped me out get my current position, which is awesome. I actually got my offer for my position the same day as graduation, which was really great. It kind of turns back to the point where PK said pace is fantastic for the upward mobility. I graduated and I had a job, which was fantastic. And I was really able to leverage that ad team experience, um, which is funny because half of my team that I work with right now are all ad team alumni. So my manager even jokes that ad team alumni make for the best employees. I work at a digital marketing agency over in Purchase called DAC Group and I'm working on their State Farm account. So uh, DAC Group, we kind of focus on nationwide brands, but really helping them with their hyper-local marketing. So I work directly with agents all across the country. There's like 19,000 of them. And our team works with them to help basically set up and implement all of their digital marketing, all of their activities from business listings to search engine optimization and Google My Business and then paid search and Google ads and all of that different thing. So I had such a strong background in saying I can learn from start to finish how to do a campaign and I'm willing to jump in and learn whatever you need me to. And that proved definitely invaluable with getting my position. So this is one of those great success stories, but it's all ongoing as well, because Kim wrote to me two days ago and said, hey, PK, there are four jobs open here. Mm -hmm. And three people on the current ad team who are really our media stars, and two of them are in the process of applying. So we'll see how this story uh, uh, marches on. The other thing is um, I am a stalker of talent, and <laughs> Tiffany and Cameron are absolutely uh, emblematic of that. Um, Cam was in my advertising class and for her uh, final senior project did, um, not, not senior project, but in the course did such beautiful uh, Photoshop work that I just knew she had to be on ad team. So the, uh, the idea that we had for the Adobe client turned out to be hers and the plans book, which was beautiful graphically was her design. And in the second semester, next slide, drum roll, drum roll. 
the winner of our district, which is the most competitive district, was us, <laughs> Pace University Pleasantville. So we were really thrilled about this because, as I said earlier, we compete in, in the really toughest district in the entire country. And um, this year we beat real powerhouse schools who have won the national competition many, many times, including George Washington, Syracuse, um, and Penn State and St. John's. So that was pretty powerful competition. And uh, the accolades that came from then from them because of our win have been really, really heartening. And, you know, my heart goes out to camp for her good work and for TIFF the year before and all the ad team students. And now on to a great story for us, which is um, Dr. Kathy Winstead, who is the creator of our student enterprise businesses. Kathy. Thank you, Paul. I am a marketing professor also at Pace University. I teach some upper level marketing courses, including digital marketing and new product development, where we have opportunities to work with actual clients in consulting projects, as you've heard from some of the other professors about their courses. I also teach the Business 101 course, which is our introduction to business course. You heard about simulations. Uh, from Professor Donovan. We run simulations in the Business 101 course. This allows you to experience making marketing decisions. I teach sections in Pleasantville where we do simulations. We decide on what price you're going to charge. You have to decide how much to spend on advertising in a different game. There's a different one every week. And you negotiate contracts, you do sales, but you also do stock trading, equipment replacement, inventory management. It helps you to learn about all of the different majors in the business school at Pace and practice what you've learned, uh, what you are going to be learning in some of your future courses. But what I'm here to talk to you about today is the Center for Student Enterprise. 10 years ago, two of my freshman students came to me and said, Dr. Winstead, we'd really like to start an entrepreneurship club and we'd like to start a business as part of that club. So we started up the Pace Perk Cafe, a late night cafe that's open every night, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. This has been running for the last 10 years. They just celebrated their 10th anniversary. And over the course of working with this group of students interested in entrepreneurship, we created five student-run businesses. The last two of them were the result of shark tanks that we created where students could come up and compete, present their ideas, and then decide what they'd like to start on campus. We started two new businesses that way. We now have five student-run businesses. We have 90 employees working for these businesses. They're all business majors and minors, so we just hire people who are uh, majoring or minoring in business. About 50 of these 90 students are in management positions running the business. We have a senior management team that I meet with every week for a couple of hours, which includes a general manager, a marketing manager, purchasing manager, operations manager, and chief financial officer. Uh, so you run this as part of a team. The, we have weekly manager meetings. As I said, they also this group of students also presents to a board every quarter. These are the top administrators at Pace University, and you might recognize some of our professors in that group as well, it includes the Dean of the School of Business. We put out an annual report every year where all of the businesses prepare their financial statements and all of their updates and information about what they did. They, we put procedures manuals together for every business every year, and we do performance reviews every semester. So it is run very much like a corporation. Our marketing managers, each have a department that they run, uh, usually a department of three. A senior marketing manager has one or two or three, um, I think it's three at the Pace Perk, assistant managers. They are responsible for managing the team. They put up social media posts and stories. They do social media advertising. They put out all kinds of print materials, which can include menus, magnets, flyers, brochures. They run regular events, create all the signage and the decor, the design, of the, of the spaces. They run promotions, loyalty programs, websites, in some cases apps, and do all the photography that's involved as well. So it's a very all-encompassing job to apply what they've learned in the classroom in marketing. I have several marketing managers from these businesses here with me today. They're going to talk to you. Uh, Chase Ware was just recently promoted to be the senior marketing manager for Pace Perk. She is a advertising concentration major. 
with a minor in psychology. She's also a peer leader on campus, which means she works with our University 101 courses. She is a tour guide, so you may see her in that capacity and a research assistant. She also, I've just recently learned as, uh, as an education person at the Intrepid Museum. So she works there as well and has taken on just recently the senior management responsibilities at Pace Perk, all of this, and she is still a sophomore. We also have with us today Jack Needham, who is also a sophomore. He started as, in this freshman year, was promoted to be senior marketing manager at Pace Perk in charge of that whole department for our largest business. He has recently moved over to Pace Delivers, where he has just implemented an app and is working at trying to add to our schedule. Uh, and he will uh, add breakfast to our schedule. And he will tell you more about that. And he also is the incoming president of Lubin Business Association, which you heard about earlier, and works with Cancer uh, Club at Pace. We have Sammy Lee, who is recently graduated a few weeks ago. She has had great internships along the way. She has also worked at Pace Mart her entire time at Pace, starting in her freshman year, becoming assistant marketing manager, then senior marketing manager. And her last year, she spent as the general manager running the Pace Mart, which is a convenience store in the library. She did go on one of the field trips as well that you heard about from Dr. G to Singapore and Malaysia. And I think this picture is taken on one of those field trips. So let's start out. I'm gonna bring my, uh, the students in to talk to you now. And I'm gonna start by asking Chase a question. To, Chase, could you just tell us a little bit about some of the things you did at Pace Perk as assistant marketing manager and some of the things you anticipate coming into the senior marketing manager position? Yeah, of course. So hello, my name is Chase Ware. I'm the newly appointed senior marketing manager at Perk. So as assistant, some of my roles were creating posters for our monthly events. Um, also our specials and lastly our milkshake of the months. So for our monthly um, events we would have we would take about half the cafe space and we'd have an interactive activity for our students to partake in. You might have seen a couple of slides ago I created the Halloween Eve poster for our um, Halloween Eve party this past October which was widely distributed across campus and also on Perk's social media page. So at this event, we gave out mini pumpkins and also mini mason jars, and the students had the opportunity to paint either one, and they could use that as a decor item in their dorm, which was really nice. So in order to plan these events, we have weekly meetings, so the entire marketing team gets together, and we basically meet in a common area, and we talk about what we want the theme for our event to be, um, and what activity we want the students to partake in. We also talk about our milkshake of the month, so the name of our milkshake, the ice cream flavors that we want involved and also the toppings inside of it which is pretty cool so some of the things that I look forward to doing as part of um, as now the newly appointed senior marketing manager are basically redesigning Perks logo to represent the theme so right now we have a really cool neon um, city vibe happening inside of Perk so we have a lot of neon signs that are part of our decor and we also have black um, chalk walls so students have the opportunity to get a chalk marker from us and it's a neon marker so you can sign your name, um, put your social media handles or draw a really cool picture and that's just one of the ways that we have um, the students and um, everyone who attends PERT to just really be a part of that community. Um, the last thing that I'm really looking forward to doing is um, creating the 10 and a half annual party. So unfortunately, due to COVID, we weren't able to have the 10th anniversary party in April. So having that sometime in the fall, renamed the 10 and a half party, um, is something that I'm really looking forward to doing. Great. Thank you so much, Chase. Um, Pace Perk is our biggest business. They have almost $300,000 a year in business. There's a 35-person staff. Like I said, Chase will be running a four-person department for the marketing department. Uh, Jack, you started at Pace Perk, have moved over to Pace Delivers. You have just recently put an app into effect to add to the online ordering system. Could you tell us a little bit about starting up that app and uh, how you use it for marketing purposes, as well as your plans to start a new breakfast delivery program. Yep. So coming over from Pace Perk to Pace Delivered is a big difference because we are an online only ordering, uh, late net ordering, uh, you order from multiple high end restaurants. So we would, uh, coming over, like switching total market schemes, we wanted to implement an app that we can send push notifications out just about every other week. So that helps us in a really good way to push business sort of a different direction than I did over at Perk. Also, we implemented a rewards program. 
which you do can uh, by spending money, you can uh, get points and accumulate those points and they can get you free items. As well as we recently worked on adding a breakfast menu, bringing Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's right to the classrooms right before class. So that was something we were working on this year. And tell them they might be interested in who you deliver in the evenings when you, with your delivery service. Yep. We, we order from Chipotle, Buffalo Wild Wings, Applebee's, McDonald's, and a local favorite Rockies Deli. <laughs> so, so this is a great service that the students love. They become an institution, Pace Perk, and Pace Delivers. Pace Delivers is only two years old, but it's already become an institution on campus, on the Pleasantville campus, and uh, again, is a big business operation with a lot of employees. We also have Sammy here. And Sammy, you have had pretty much a whole lot of different positions at PaySmart. Can you just tell us a little bit about PaySmart and some of the things that you did as a marketing manager and general manager at PaySmart? Yeah, so PaySmart is a student-run fruit and beverage store inside the library. So whenever you're studying in the library and you need like a little break, a little pick-me-up, it's right there inside the library. You don't have to walk outside, just walk downstairs to the first floor. Um, the great thing about these student businesses is that even though you have a management role, you still have shifts behind the register. And for me, I'm kind of like a visual learner. So I like being inside the space. I could really like look around and see what else needs to be improved on. And since I worked there freshman year, I had plenty of time to look around and see what can be improved. Um, so a few of the things that my marketing team decided to take initiative on and really increase awareness of um, included coffee, new snacks, products, and different services that we offered. And to do that, we increased our signage in the library, lots of posters and promotions, um, photos showing pictures of food to really get students hungry when the, in the library. Uh, we became more consistent with our Instagram posts, posting any new products in the store every single week. And this past semester, we decided that we wanted to reach students outside the library. So we invented the Martmobile, which is a cart that goes, into the side, that goes inside the residence halls to serve snacks and drinks at night. And for leadership, um, I really developed my leadership skills for Paid Smart by learning from past senior managers and really how they helped me become a better team member. I really try to implement that with my staff overall and also working with Dr. Winstead. She's a great support system to work with. Thank you so much. Uh, we've been hearing a lot about all the different marketing majors and uh, what you can learn in the marketing program. Could you just each, I know we're getting short on time, but just give a little bit of a short summary of how you've applied what you've learned in the classroom to your jobs and maybe a little bit about how you've used this also in getting internships or jobs afterwards. Uh, Chase, could you start us out? Yeah, of course. So I think a class that's really helped me in terms of my marketing position is probably PK's um, Marketing 221 class. So Fundamentals of Advertising and Promotion. So I took this this past spring and in the class we'd have weekly assignments and we weren't allowed to go over the max. So if the max was a page and you wrote a page and a half, you would unfortunately get points deducted. So that just really taught me how to be succinct in the way that I promote um, our events and our promotions and stuff for PERC. So so just saying the most with the least amount of words and just some other really quick things that I learned working at Perk are just leadership skills. Um, at first I was a little shy and I didn't want to like be too harsh when like delegating tasks to different employees but I really learned how to be assertive and um, just also quick thinking so a lot of the times our um, ice cream flavors for the milkshake of the months would be out of stock so we'd have to quickly redesign our milkshake of the months for that month so that it would suit the customer's needs. Great, thank you so much, Jack. So early on, I know in Business 101 and a couple of the early courses, you do do a lot of simulations. So those simulations, you sort of work with a team, you gotta try to work on your team skills and your leadership skills within a team. So I think definitely working as the Pace Deliver Senior Manager this year, we were working on projects, like I mentioned before, breakfast, as well as catering, sort of workshopping those ideas with fellow management, uh, management positions and my coworkers you really got to work together to make those things happen. So that's something I learned, as well as just networking in general. You'll hear in University 101 and Business 255 all the time how important networking is for now and, the, and your future. So sort of knowing that uh, CSE has their own sort of network that you can get to know other people you work with and sort of build connections through there. That's partially how I got my job at Pace Delivers, and it's definitely something that's really exciting. Great. Thank you. Sammy. And so we talked about the Lubin Pace Path earlier, and in order to complete your Lubin Pace Path, you need at least two professional experiences, and you can actually use your management role at these student businesses to complete internship credit, which is super convenient, and you can actually get paired with faculty advisors to 
for them to become like your mentor almost throughout this internship process. So I remember for my assistant marketing manager position, I got paired with Dr. G. So I met with Dr. G pretty frequently to discuss PaceSmart and the marketing team. And through that whole experience, I was able to really think about new ideas to bring to PaceSmart and how else we could just incorporate good ideas and creative ideas. Great, thank you so much. I'm just gonna mention very briefly a couple of our other businesses. We have PaceFit, that is a smoothie bar, a health food, uh, snack bar, if you will, that is located in the gym. They were just recently formed from a shark tank this past year and have opened up there for the last year. Pace Connect is a research center where we send reports to clients. As you can see from our students, we do promote students early. Some of these students, uh, like Jack, got a senior management position. Uh, in freshman year, we have a couple of freshman senior managers as well at Pace Fit. So this is an opportunity for you to go quickly into management positions. With that, I'd be glad to answer questions, but I'm gonna turn it over to Dean Prelook to answer a few questions. And this slide does show you my contact information and the website you can go to if you'd like to learn more. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Winstead. I can only imagine how impressed you must be with our students. I know I am. It was wonderful to hear from all of them about their roles in the various different businesses, how they won the ad team competition this year and how successful our alumni are when they go out and work in the real world. Um, if you'd like to have any questions answered about Pace University, about the Lubin School of Business or any of our majors or minors, you can contact Lubin Advisement in Pleasantville or you can contact Lubin Advisement in New York for the campus that's most appropriate for you and the contact information is available here. If you're ready to join us and the class of 2024, um, please go ahead and click on the link available to you and start on your own personal PACE path. We look forward to seeing you in the fall and I thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful evening, everyone.